What's going on today, guys? Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the DNA Designs DK08 and DK08+. Plus. Uh, these I have uh, not so much of an issue with, uh, just to kind of, I guess, spoiler alert the video. Uh, anyone who watched my Throne of the Primes upgrade kit review knew that I had some issues with the hands, with the paint, uh, things like that. But those issues aren't really present on this one, on this uh, version of the kit. Uh, mostly because the guns actually aren't painted or coated in a special color. Uh, the only thing that that can kind of be, I guess, boiled down to is the fact that the guns that were painted gold were the same molded plastic as the hands. And, like, obviously they wouldn't want to mold and paint the hands uh, the same color. Even though I, I believe they were both, like, like the yeah, these two things are in different kits. So, I mean, maybe they could have gotten away with it. I don't know. Uh, I still kind of stand firm by, like, Maybe you really don't need the full kit. Um, you know, at least just keep keep you know keep the stock hands on the throne version, and you should be just fine. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full comparison uh, with all modes with the throne version. Um, I also didn't do a installation uh, on this, but it's very straightforward. Uh, I have the old parts in the box, and these hands I'm actually going to keep. So let's go ahead and come down here and let's get this stuff out of the way um somewhat different boxes of course which isn't too bad instead of it being all in one box they're in uh two separate boxes and also as you can see uh here's my little small guy i have this is a custom piece i want to say it was 3d printed but i don't want to do the the creator of it any kind of injustice by saying that because it, it's a very smooth finish for a 3d printed piece now it is uh actually a kind of translucent um piece so that may be something to do with it and they they just painted over it with this uh gunmetal color which matches the rest of the figure quite well in my opinion i thought it was going to be black but i'm, I'm glad it was this gunmetal and it obviously is just a um you know, it harkens back to the original toy and the original design, so there is that. There are some issues with mine, though. There's a two-point connection. Uh, let's see if we can lift up on that. You can maybe see in there. Well, you can't, but there's supposed to be a peg that tabs into this piece, and you can see the peg coming out of this piece that actually tabs in. I'm going to try not to mess this up. Right there. So it kind of still works at, by pressure fitting in here. Um, jet mode's a different deal. Jet mode, it just kind of sits there. And I wanted to start off in the armored car mode just because it's the toughest of the modes for me to get this thing into. Uh, but it works. If you want to check out the armored car mode um, with stock pieces, just watch the throne version. Uh, it's a little less difficult. I just don't recommend the hands. And, like, it's, it's tricky getting these hands to this point like you have to make sure they're all the way down and which you know again this is it's, this is not the best thing to show it off with because of this custom piece but everything should line up where it would have on 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 this so let's see would it yeah so so it would still line up all the same but um but yeah so same connections under here where you gotta kind of put those in and it's just it's it's tight and it's not you know it doesn't really want to doesn't really want to cooperate and honestly it's kind of tight enough in that connection on its own that you can probably just let this sit here just let it rest and it you know that would still be okay uh, the legs I have kind of halfway mistransformed so that way everything would would sit flush as needed the wheel still is a very tight uh, rotation but I'm fine with it man I'm not gonna be a uh, you know, whooshing it around. Also, you can see some big old uh, gorilla face back there. So there's that. Now, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, other than that, like these, these peg on up here the same, and it's all good. So let's go ahead and get them into the jet mode, which is going to be the next easiest thing to do. So we're going to untab that, and I'm just going to pick this up and set it off to the side. And... Let's see, we'll collapse these back. These will fold back up. And these don't pop off as much as they do on my throne version. Maybe I didn't 
push them down to lock them uh, tight enough, but that is something I also wanted to, uh, to mention. Now to get this out of here, we're just gonna give her a nice wiggle until it comes out or something breaks. Thankfully nothing broke. It's just, it's super tight c connection in these, uh, these holes. Which I guess is what you want, you know, but in the stock hands it is not as tight. So, again, totally up to you. But I did want to at least get a review in here with the upgrade hands, which I think they work pretty well for this one. So, there is that. Alright, straighten all this stuff back out. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So, there we go. Uh, okay. This still kind of a pain to split. Just uh, get in there and work it. There you go. Uh, let's see. These still stay out. All this is still going to peg on just the same. Robot mode and monkey mode are what's really different. And I'll, I'll be honest, the monkey mode, I still haven't uh, quite figured it all out yet. But, uh... I'm going to workshop it. Hopefully I don't have to, to pause or start over or anything like that. So anyway, oh, okay. So like I said, you can see it's kind of like a, not necessarily translucent, but it's definitely like a smoky white in there. And it pegged into there and it, the peg was just too tight and it came out and I couldn't find the piece to glue it back. So, you know, anyways, that's i uh, I'm sure if I would have found that piece and put a little more love into it, I probably could have got it to work for me, but I didn't. So, all right, let's uh, move those up. So, anyway, it's just gonna it's just gonna rest here, kinda. If if I'm lucky, uh, let's see. Unfortunately, that couldn't have been the tight fit. So, anyways, there's the jet mode. I don't think I showed that off. Um, I may have, I may not have, but uh. So there you have it. Um, this piece I got it off a of towel bow, so. I don't really know how to find it again, if I'm being honest. Uh, but anyone who is familiar with Taobao could probably still get it. I'm not super sure. So uh, someone in the, I want to say the Beast Wars Transformers group, uh, helped me out. Um, he posted a link to it. You can already see, I have not messed with this thing a whole lot, but these stickers are already starting to peel up. So, speaks volumes there. All right, let's... Uh, Let's work on this. Let's let's see if let's see if we can get this uh, this monkey mode to work out. I think it shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, we got that. Let's straighten that out because I think what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna peg one of the or I'm I'm gonna peg those uh those wheel bits back on the back of these uh, these these arm slots up here so we're gonna see what we can what we can do to it I didn't, I didn't think it would be as tricky as say uh, the other but uh, real quick this is all gonna fall down what's okay yeah this is all still part of that so that's gonna clip down onto that this I had to I had to flip it for robot mode which is strange this little uh, matrix so all right this still slides in no problem i say no problem all right okay there we go there's that so he's, he's still gonna have all this uh junk on his backpack i guess if he wanted to you could probably um I don't know, rotate the guns down? I don't know what you could do with all that. Uh, ideally, you would give the small guy the swords. So, there's that. Alright. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see what we can do with these wheels. Actually, we probably wouldn't have to put them... Because on, like, on the back of the arms, they're going to they're gonna show up, right? They're going to be there. It's going to kind of kill the design more than what it's already being killed. So... Maybe. Mm. I don't know. I saw these. I saw these peg holes, and I was like, "Perfect." But I don't know if that's gonna 
necessarily work out. Maybe we can sandwich it in. Because, like, I'll be honest, like, storing, storing the guns, I have to, like, sandwich them in um, a certain degree. Let's see. And it's kind of like working off of these pieces here. Yeah. All right. Time to pause. All right. So I think this is about as good as we're going to get on this. I mean, ideally, you wouldn't have to do this unless you wanted to, I guess. If you wanted to keep this on, like, you could still utilize all these same ports. So I guess this isn't completely uh, exclusive to, oh, you know what? This isn't going to work because, uh, well, back to the drawing board. All right, so just kind of utilizing some of the uh, molding here. What I did was I put this gray piece in kind of sideways and turned it around. And then with this gun not being here, stuck it on and kind of wrapped it around and then just pegged them, uh, pegged it into the, to the pegs back there. So you're going to have this just kind of hanging out back here. But ultimately, you still get the same sort of look that you would need uh, out of this mode. And for that, I can, I can definitely, uh, I can do some, I, I can wheel and deal with it. So, uh, not too bad unless you get from like a complete side profile here, but, uh, straight, you know, kind of straight on like this or the kind of, uh, you know, turn like that, it totally works. So there is that as an option, something I didn't really explore in the, uh, the, the first video that, that actually had the uh, the little primal, or the, the box primal, I should call him, uh, part of... Oh, there we go. Oh, well, you can kind of see what I did, but... Um, anyways, you just come back up here and plug this on. I was going to try not to show it because it was sort of tedious, but, you know, why not? Anyways, I guess just don't mess with it too much. <laughs> so... That's uh, that's that. So robot mode is another. You gotta kind of move it around, put it places. But let's uh, do all this straightforward stuff. Overall, man, I'm really like. I don't know. Maybe it's because like this is more show accurate, and really, I I just wanted the the guns, the uh, the these pieces, and the the bigger wings for the throne version. Maybe that's why. I'm all, maybe it was like a subconscious, like I didn't want to like the rest of it thing, even though for the most part I did, all the um, all the gold stuff, I really liked it. Uh, I was overall a fan. So let's see, actually I think these will fold up like that. Now something I did mention in one of these reviews was that I prefer to give my Optimal Optimus the... Uh, these like these shoulder these well forearm things that become the shoulder pads I should say uh, I, I like them being shoulder pads on him but like for Primal Prime and even the Throne of the Primes version I like them uh, on the the lower part of the arms uh, also real quick something I forgot to show off in the other video see I get to do a little bit of redemption uh, if you want to. I think for him to hold these as a shield. Let's see, I know they kind of. I think I wanted. To, I thought they pegged on right in here. Maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just a. Hmm. You know, I really I actually don't know. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. There it goes. It pegs onto the side of his arm like that, so he can. Uh, have a shield if you wanted to give him one of the swords you could do that so that's something I forgot and I guess because I needed to get him in robot mode anyways anyways um, let's see let's fold that out plug that in plug that in I feel like primal had these a lot more and I know like primal prime which I do kind of hope they make a primal prime uh, he was not quite known to have them up like that. At least he was never drawn like that. Not that I could recall. It was, they were mostly just kind of down and out of the way. But, there we go. And, let's, uh, 
All right, so for this, again, something else I like to do for primal is leave the uh, turrets out like that. And um, this, we've got to slide that down, get these off, get these off, bring this back up, fold his head out. go all right so home stretch here I guess give him one of his guns but I do want to show that you can store them both if you so choose and again you're gonna break this wheel piece apart and I'm gonna do one off camera so I can remember how to do it and I'll do the other one on camera all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this out like we did on the original which is a, a neat design. Oh, suppose I should take the gun out of that hand. Then this this is going to kind of fold out, but what we're going to do is, let me get oriented here, slide that through like that, rotate it up, and then kind of push down till you get it. I mean, you're going to see it kind of bow a little bit. You don't want to put too much uh, press pressure or stress on it and these little pieces kind of barely slot in here which I think is a pretty cool um, deal but I mean it's got the same kind of um, slots that this this has so like I mean it makes sense that they would fit um, if, if it was molded in the same kind of shape as that then obviously that would be the more ideal um, way to do it and then you're gonna kind of you're gonna have to turn that but you're going to want to hold everything because it's very loosely held into place. But uh, it holds. We're going to try tipping them backwards. Okay, that one fell off. Uh, it's not perfect. On a shelf, it'll be fine. Um, obviously, like without the guns on them, um, it would be better. Uh, but let's see. You just kind of push that in. Whoa. I did have it right. I had it. I say right. I had it decent. Maybe, maybe they need to move further up this way. Perhaps. Uh, it uh, it is what it is. I guess at this point. So, anyways, not not perfect, but not not terrible either. So. There's your kind of storage. Again, if you happen across one of these and you want to make the kit work uh, both ways, you can do that. Uh, personally, I am rather fond of him dual wielding these guns. I have my throne version uh, with one gun in one hand and, a ma and the mace in the other. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Put these back on here. And, you know, I can maybe get these to clip in, but, like, I'd be too scared to, like, remove them. Okay, they, they still slide in, and they, for the most part, lock in. It's just, um, it's just something you got to play around with. So, there's that. All right, so he still has the storage up there. He still kind of has that, that same profile. But we will put this gun in this hand. And you can always give the small the little swords um, we're going to pinkies out and again my uh, my throne version had some weak elbows where this one does not which is nice so again close those pinkies out and uh, let's see putting these shoulder pieces up you're gonna have to give him the the wide arms, there we go, to get them out of the way, but essentially, there you have it, blasting away, and then, um, this little, this little useless thing, he's just gonna kinda stand here, I mean, I'll probably give him the swords on display, but that's, for the most part, that's that, uh, here is the throne version for just the briefest of back heavy comparisons. So there uh there they are together. 
if you want to see how I choose to to display those. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a mess. All right, so here they are. A little bit better of a pose. Final thoughts. I dig the retail colors one. Um, paint's not going to scratch off of something that it's not on. Everything's a good fit. Um, I have mixed kind of things going on here, but I think your money's worth is going to be out of that one and less out of that one. That one looks cooler. The golden guns are still cool. Not worth 60 bucks. Worth 50 So that's it. Any questions or comments, drop them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later.